What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be uh, removing the board from my factory uh, NA MR2 ECU. Uh, the casing is pretty much the same uh, for this ECU compared to like the turbo ones. You just need to modify a little bit here uh, for the link plug and play. Now, the link plug and play board will literally just drop in. Um, so you just need to remove all this stuff. I already started removing it, but there's just a bunch of screws all over the place. I'm still on the back here. Um, that you just need to remove. So I'm gonna do that. I've never done this, but uh, once the link gets here, I'll be able to put this all in uh, and then start the install. So yeah, look forward to that. All right, so there's the board removed. There's a 5SFE board. If for some reason you want this, let me know. You can pay shipping and I will literally just send it to you because I have no need for it. It's undamaged, of course. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the, uh, the shell casing of the link so yeah all right so i got everything i don't know what the hell just moved that oh anyway i got everything i got the board for the ecu got a bunch of link stickers some install shit uh a cable to connect to my computer i think this is a ground strap Bunch of stuff, some pigtails, intake air temp sensor, which I think goes into that. Expansion loom for extra inputs. Uh, some Chico Raceworks goodies, blue solenoid. Uh, but yeah, I got a ton of shit. So I gotta install this stuff, and this is gonna be a long video. So yeah, let's do it. So I've been uh, modifying the case, just cutting it up so that the ECU for the link will fit. Uh, just gotta finish cleaning it up and then we'll be good. So, yeah. So I'm pretty sure it fits now. I just need to drill the hole for the communication cable from the ECU to computer and then for the expansion of the so I'll go ahead and do that now. 8080 Beats Production. the link installed in the case, got the two harnesses that I have plugged in for now, plugged in, um, this is how I'm going to run it, I'll clean it up later but everything is fitting, it works, so we got to show the link. Boy oh boy is it cold, uh, went to hit us hard, but I'm going to go ahead and try and get this link in today, uh, I don't expect to start the car or anything today but I do want to start uh, running lines, running wires, to do, uh, and maybe uh, if there's nothing crazy that we need, we'll get this car uh, at least started on the base map uh, sometime next week. So it looks like I have lost my brackets that help you mount the stock ECU to the firewall. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now, I'm just going to try and get as much of this uh, mounted as I can and then start running some wires and plug it in. Test fitment, all that good stuff. All right, looks like all the stock plugs go in perfectly fine, which is good because if they didn't, that would be a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out how to remount this. I'm gonna maybe see if my buddy has some brackets or something that we could use. Um, 
And I'm just gonna like start walking up cables and see how things run uh, for all the like, adapters and stuff. Make sure everything works good. So let's plug in like all the IAT stuff and all that stuff. Cool. It's gonna pop back off the throttle body uh, so that we can run the IAT sensor into the um, the cold start injector spot. And then we will get this stuff out of the way and put it in. Hopefully all that fixed. I'm wondering if I can delete this thing somehow, because I'm not going to need a diag port in any way, shape, or form. We're not using the stock map, map sensor, so maybe we can tie this up and get it out of the way. It's kind of ugly. Let's put this. Uh, but yeah, let's try that. Uh, let's get this off, and we'll go from there. All right, went ahead and got that sensor installed. It's obviously down there, you're not going to really see it, but the cable runs over here and it's supposed to apparently plug into the old airflow meter plug. So let's go ahead and get that and see if it reaches over there. That'd be really cool if we can keep this nice and clean because there's already way too many wires in this engine bay and it bothers me enough. Uh, so let's see what we can do. All right, got that big mess back together. So uh, on to the next thing. I'm sorry that I'm like making cuts when I'm doing this. It's really cold and I have these big ass clothes on so I, and there's not really much room right now for me to like do any time lapses or anything so I'm just gonna keep updating you guys as I go um, just a couple more things to do now uh, and then most of this stuff will be installed and technically the car will be ready to start but we're not gonna run it just yet all right so I guess I won't be getting rid of the stop mass sensor wire because uh, it plugs into this this uh, four bar map sensor from link there's like a little adapter uh, that plugs right into it. So we'll plug that in and then kind of figure out how I'm going to mount this. Maybe I can mount it down really low so it's out of the way. Um, I don't know yet. I'm going to figure that out and then get back to you guys. Well, I did something cool. Uh, so I was able to get rid of the diag port and the old map sensor wiring because there is a like, hole for a grommet all the way down there. That's stock, I guess. And I just put it down here. So I got everything in the trunk right now, but gonna figure out a mounting solution for this cut that this is blurry. Uh, cut that vacuum line uh, to size and then mount this thing so this looks this works really good uh, and that makes me pretty happy uh, it's kind of hard to see in here but yeah we'll just run it right there cut that vacuum line to fit and I'll be good to go cap on here which makes it super easy to get filling oil into your, uh, your engine uh, some may not like this but I do because it's really easy for me to not spill oil um, I usually spill a ton of oil all over the place and uh, now I won't do that all right so the last thing to install is the boost control solenoid why well, won't this thing focus sorry this video is super out of focus today guys I can't fix it. I've been trying. All right, uh, so the last thing to install is the boost control solenoid. This thing won't focus for crap, but I just have to set it up like my old one. Uh, I'm not too sure what I have to do with this, as I know that this has to plug into the stock, uh, like boost control stuff, which is all the way down there. I haven't pushed out yet. But I'll at least get it set up for this now. Uh, I'm not really too fond of crawling on the ground right now. It's cold as hell. Uh, but I might get it. I might not. We'll see. All right. I went ahead and hooked up the boost control solenoid. It's kind of in a place where I can't really show you guys. But uh, that's hooked up. So basically this thing's ready to start. I'm not going to start it yet just because I need to finish my one oil line. Get the oil cooler all plumbed up so that um, we're not blowing oil all over the place when we start this thing. Uh, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and get the computer plugged into this thing, get everything configured. I still got to mount the ECU, uh, so I'm going to get some brackets and mount that up, uh, and then we'll get this thing running, uh, at least on the base map. I don't know if we're going to tune it yet, uh, but we'll at least get everything running, set up some safety features, and uh, prepare for tuning. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you could please leave a, leave a like, uh, comment on this thing, and let me know what you think. Uh, maybe this is... Uh, 
a system that you guys want to use. So I'm doing classes on this right now to really learn about Link. It seems to be like a really cool software. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me. And uh, if I can answer them, I will answer them. And if not, I'll direct you to uh, a resource that you can get that answer. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys liking, the, liking this video uh, and watching this video and all the subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm well on my way to my goal of 100 subscribers. I don't think we're going to get there by the first of the year, but that's all right. Uh, we'll go ahead and set a goal to get that done before the end of January. Uh, I think we can do that. So uh, you guys can go and share the video. We can definitely get uh, to that milestone. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good day.